Just my mate there and the baby. One room will do. God save us. Oh, look at that. Maggie? It's just love, Mrs. Cherrup. He's as black as a spark, <coughs> poor little chap. Mrs. Bascom, how could you? Poor little shrimp. Who's as black as sin, then? Eh? I wouldn't touch him for the world. <laughs> Maggie, I never knew they got black so young. If you could just show us to our room. Won't they delete the sheets, Mrs. I want a good house. Uh, I don't mind if it's small, but it must be the only one in the village. I don't want bad blood with another man. Mm. Sailor. Yes. It's my, uh, my master's certificate, and that's a recommendation from my last company. License trade, Mr. Tug, is not really a sailor's trade. They drink too hard. Don't like to stop in one place. I doubt it'd suit you. Where are you after that? If you buy a seaman, I won't waste our time. Oh, should I buy a seaman? Just giving some advice, that's all. Your business, whether you take it or not. Sit down, do it. Um, relations here, Max. Made in New Barrow. There's a house vacant there. Do you know it? My father wanted to send me to sea. I wouldn't go.
them bills. Come on. Wait. Oh, Lou! Oh, Lou! Oh, come on, leave him be. See if you can find the kitchen, make a fire, we'll be hungry. That's right here. William Targets, my name, what's yours? Fred Link, blacksmith. Be on the way, is it? Yeah, should be here any, any time, huh? You want to handle the heavy stuff? I'd appreciate that. It's been dry long enough. to rinse the jugs on the new pot boy he took me on Dorchester. What is your name? Tom Madrick. Go on, then. Do what he told you. Yes. Uh, m Mrs. Is your hair always that colour? Of course it is. I tell you, Mr. William Lighting done ship shape and no lead swinging. Well, I reckon that deserves a drink. Nah. <laughs> Fill him up, lad. Oh, nice drop of beer. Keep it like that, we shan't complain. Oh, keep them coming, lad. They've got a bit of leeway to make up. <laughs> Bring your lady needs a drink, then. What's your name, friend? Charlie Nye. Catch all the rabbits round here. When he's up in time. <laughs> <laughs> Can you get me a couple tomorrow? I'll do that. Just you leave that to me. Nice pair of rabbits I'll get you. Go to a nice rabbit bar. Tom, would you mind asking my good lady to step into the bar? What happened to the last landlord? Oh, we didn't take to him. A surly bugger he were. Mm, people stopped coming here. He ran into debt. Uh, this is my wife, gentlemen. Get a little less of gin, then. Oh, it's been a long day. Aye. Leave that, Tom. Finish it up in the morning. No. Pilote, pilote. 
Me, Dad. Mm -hmm. Sent you what? That dream. What the hell's you done to the bed? I only made it as you told me. I've done something wrong. She was. Look, the sheet's supposed to go under the blankets, not on top. Now, where are you up to? I'm not off anywhere. I'm putting the bed right. I'll leave it. I've done it wrong. I will put it right. Come to bed. I'll show you in the morning. It's not your fault. We didn't bother with sheets at home. This is home now. I had servants to do all tea. Now, that's enough of that. I'll get a woman in to help you. So you know your way around. I'll learn quick. If you don't holler at me. I didn't holler. I'm not one of your old Laskers. You wouldn't be in my bed if you were. <laughs> Mr. William, you'll be early for the train. Well, I thought I'd ask about those goslings on the way. Lock up at night, will you, Tom? Don't forget. Where's she gone? Juliet! Ah! Bye bye. You're a good boy, Billy. Well, bye bye. Oh, cheers. Bring the lads. Oh, handsome. Very handsome. Very nice. Thank you, Tom. Bye bye. You be careful now. Is that my bye? That's right, Billy. <laughs> How's it look? Um, Looks a treat. Okay. Fetch your pot of ale, Tom. Yeah. You're off to London now. Yeah, I got some business to do. In all these years, I never docked in London. Well, you want to go careful, oh? Or you have a leather shirt off your back. I dare say I've seen worse places. Ah. Fred? Let's give her a proper launch. Mr. 
Is this the... You see, come on. William, so it is you. Well, here's a turn of... I, I, I come out to buy some goslings. Well, aren't you going to give your brother a kiss, then, and ask me in? Yes, you better come in. Well, if I'd have known you were so close, I'd have, I'd have come before. Would you? Yeah, of course I would. I heard it was a William Target had taken me in. A seafaring man. Why the devil didn't you pay me a visit? So, you finally got yourself married. Well, what kind of a husband have you landed? Am I going to meet him? I don't think that would be a very good idea at present, William. What? Is it true, these stories I've heard? What stories? That you've brought a black woman and her child with you. Aye, it's true. What of it? You must be mad. Do you know, you're being talked about all over the countryside. Well, they've little enough else to put their minds to. So you'd rather have your black woman than your good name? Well, I believe I would if it came to a choice. Good name never kept anyone warm in bed. It's a great joke to you, is it? Lucy, I don't want to quarrel. And my tulip's a woolly-headed negro. Well, so she is. And these local bumpkins who've never been further than the next village find her rather strange. Well, they'll get used to her and grow to like her. And if they don't, that's their misfortune. As for me, I keep a good inn and I'm building up respect in the village. Respect? Ask any man, for God's sake. You're a fool, William. Do you think they tell you to your face what they think of you? Oh, no time for anyone who doesn't. Then I pity you. Respect for a man living with a negress. A man who flaunts his black mistress He's and... no man's mistress. Just take care, Lucy. Well, what the woman is is not the point. What concerns me is my position in the neighbourhood and my husband's. Stay if you like, but send this black woman back where she belongs and the pickaninny with her. Until you do that, William, I'm sorry, but I can't have you coming here. You must see that that's not possible. Now, you want some tea before you go? Oh. oh, you've not changed much, Lucy. No, you, William. So, I'm to send Tulip away so you can play the grand lady, hmm? Well, I'll tell you this. Back in Africa, Tulip was a grander lady than you'll ever hope to be. And what's more, she's brought me everything, fortune. The inn's hers and everything in it. And if it wasn't for her, I'd have nothing. Oh, you, uh, you might tell your husband to send elsewhere for his beer. He's not welcome in my house. to show you. What? Did you do that? Mm -hmm. 
blackberries. Mm hmm. What? Looks all right. It is the right colour, you think? I remember the one Mrs. Carl made. I took it out when it looked about the same. Only that one was rabbit. Oh, no, don't make any difference. It smells all right? Yeah. For when Mr. William come, he don't know I learned how to do this. I shall say Mrs. Clown made it. Then watch his face. I wonder if it is all right. Ah, well, we can't tell without trying it. If this pie is no good, you keep quiet about it, understand? I will bury it. Go on, get a plate. Go on. Go on. Well? Don't come too long. I can't have that, can I? Yeah, it's good. Hey. Mm. Uh, I'll clear up the mess, yeah? Hmm. No customers, then? Ah, uh, won't be many till harvest's over. They work through till dark. They're funny people in this country. Why do they work all the time? Oh, got to earn a living, haven't they? Those dull old clothes they wear. And the boots they wear. That is why they never dance. They've got those big boots on. Why do they wear those big heavy boots? They're not snakes. You think we're a dull lot, don't you? Well, you're all right. At least you've got bright hair. What's the word, Tom? When you're in a foreign country, you think of your own country, and it hurts. William taught me that word. It's homesick. That's it. I'm homesick, Tom. Hey, you be all right when Mr. William gets here. You won't believe this. Once, he put a rope in the jaws of a big river crocodile. Then he sat on his back like a horse and rode it up and down. There is nothing in this world strong enough to hurt that man. A lion could not and an elephant would not. When he walked through the jungle, all the snakes hid in their holes and the panthers looked away. He do not worry because everything know he is the boss. Tom. Mind you don't fall off, Dad. Ain't got no rudder, man. <laughs> Come on, boy. Lovely evening, Lucy. Been to pay respects to my wife, have you? Come along, bonfire. Can I give you water now, Tom? Oh, I had a good time, Mr. William. We got a new horse to see. Yeah, brought him in Dorchester. Hey, he's got a visitor in the parlour. Oh, who is he? Ah, I said not to tell you. So I'll see the horse. Yeah. Well, what's his name? I forgot to ask. Pity it ain't a mare. We could call it Lucy. <laughs> Billy. You recognize me then? Well, I, I thought I you'd never been. The theme since I saw you last. Oh, yeah. You've been here three months and haven't come to see us then. Well, How was that? I've been meaning to. Yeah. Well, we've been very busy. You know, the place was a mess. It looks pretty trim now. Your yeah, business good? Well, enough, enough, just enough. Huh? Well, how do you know I was here? I went to see Lucy this afternoon. Ah. ah hmm. He was going to leave, but I made him stay until you got back. And entertained me very well. Oh. No trouble while I've been away. Mm -mm. We got on very well without you. Did you now? Did you now? <laughs> Are you going to stay the night, Harry? I was open to you. Give us a talk, man, you know? Sit down. Uh, well? Oh, she's a good-looking girl. <laughs> she's good company, too. No, I wouldn't be without her. Hey, Lucy's furious. I'd say no, Lucy. Like, come on, tell me all about it. Tell me, is the farm doing well? 
Oh, well, that's well enough, I suppose, you know. Nothing much happens. I'm playing with the idea of going to America. Oh, what for? I don't know, you know. Oh, well, you look as if you've done pretty well out of leaving. Oh, that's about it. Just got the rig. Huh? Yeah. Don't Bought worry. it all in London, did you? Pretty good business there. Yeah. Ah! What I forget? This is for you. Oh, huh? That is gold. Mm. Like it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. oh, this is a little present for myself. This is a watch. Listen. I'm a rich man, Harry. Yeah. I owe all the tulip here. Dufflings are ready, Miss Tulip. No, her father was a king. Oh, yeah. And we got on very well together. It's a good time. A good time I spent in Dahomey. How did you get there? Ah, it's a long story, Harry. I did a favour for a merchant in Wida who'd done one for me, and a British naval vessel was on the lookout for me, so I went inland, so it was cool. That was a slave you did to America? I was put in a way where I couldn't refuse. I, I took no money for it. It's only bush people they send there anyway. Wasn't it risky? Yeah, I could have been transported for life, but I wasn't. I spent my life taking risks, Harry. What real man doesn't? Oh, I've cursed Lady Luck for a bitch in me time, but one thing I never did was run away from her. It's like a long love affair I've had with that lady, and we parted on good terms. Nothing frightens me anymore. Got in the open country. And suddenly there was a shout. We'd roused in anything, but damn it, there wasn't one but a great herd of the brutes. And suddenly they were going along the line, trumpeting and throwing headless bodies in the air. They do, you see, they tear off the head. It's a long time. Well, it was well up to sunset before the brutes made off. I put my head up, looked about, and there, not ten yards off, was Tulip doing the same thing. She came over to me, held my hand, and I tell you, Harry, I was so glad to be alive. I took her in my arms and I kissed her without thinking. She was just 13 then. Pretty creature. Well, there was no one else to be seen alive, so we left the place to get away from the smell of blood, you see, and we stepped out in the open country. It was a cold night, and she lived, she lay very close to me for warmth, her arms about my chest. She'd uh, lost her mantle, and she was bare from the waist up. Well, we got back to the camp the next morning, and by then I'd, I'd taken a great affection for the child. Ah, I've got something for you. <coughs> you wait. Oh. You're always my favourite brother, Harry. <laughs> Huh? You bullied the life out of me. Now, what do you think of that, eh? Oh, you know that saying, Harry? That out of the strong comes forth sweetness? Yeah. Well, I've had the strength and now I'm tasting the sweetness. And I reckon it'll do me for the rest of my life. How do they take to in the village? Well, you know how it is. No one likes what's out of the ordinary. Your first thought is to do it in mischief. It takes a while. It's the same for me and Dahomey. Now you'll have some pie. Not for me. Pie, Harry. Well, I'll the first thing, thanks. Don't mind a piece of cheese. You do not want cheese. Have some pie. Tulip, I do not want pie. I want cheese. All right. Next time, I will not cook a pie. Ah, oh, Tulip, now come here and cut me a big piece of pie and look sharp about it. Pie, Harry. Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Give us one of your African dances, Tulip. I've never seen an African dance. Shut up. Of course. Oh, come yeah. on. Come on. You show Harry what he's missed. I cannot do it in these clothes. Come on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. mm. Once a year, they have what they call the customs. That's a, it's a great public slaughter when all the wrongdoers are put to death. And after that, they sing and dance all night as if the whole thing was a game. <laughs> Maybe I'll bring back a redskin wife. <laughs> 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 I'd love to see Lucy's face. <laughs> oh. Chill it. Chill it. Right. We are a dull lot. <laughs> Dave, surely you scandalised her. He's not used to seeing women like that. <laughs> I'd better not dance, then. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, Harry. No, Harry, tell her you want to see a dance. Come on. I do not want to scandalise people. Unless you wear the better you look. Move the table, Harry. Move the table. Now, watch this. Remember that Tudor was brought up in the palace, the educated bodies. Where's the mind? Watch this.
If ever I have to go away again, be sure that you live at the inn in a retired way till I return. You misjudge me, William, if you think there's anyone here in England or back at home in Africa that I should like to meet. Iwoni ko ni mo feron julo ni bobo aye. I love no one in the world but you, Lamina. Ah! <laughs> Ah, there you are. My name is Pottock. I'm the vicar for this parish. I've been meaning to have a word. You do speak English? Oh, good. And what's the little fellow's name? What's your name, eh? Have you been baptized? Are you a Christian? 
and uh, yes, I, I think we might go inside. Is this the house of God? Nothing can hurt you here. Now do sit down. This is Jesus Christ, our Savior. He died to save us. Christians are baptized to show that we believe in him and to wash sin from us so that we may be as white as snow. Who was it? Huh? Wait a minute. Come on, look at this. Come on. Tom, look after Ulu. Ulu, stay there, please. Julie? Come with me outside. Julie! Listen, Julie, you've got it all wrong. That's what he said. He's got it in for me and all oh, Look, you mustn't listen to what the parson said. What are you saying? You don't. He'll do us mischief, William. I know those people. He was just talking about christening. They do it to all the babies. He can't harm you. He said you burn all Lou. Didn't mean that. I'll tell you what. We'll have Ulu christen, then you'll see that it's nothing. I want to keep all of I am black and I love my black baby. I shall never love him the same if he's washed white. Don't be silly. If I am washed, could I be made white also? I would not mind so much, death. But perhaps, William, you would not love me if I were not black. Huh. <laughs> Finish the ship, then. Uh, oh, all but for a coat of varnish. D do you want to see it? It's out the back. Oh, just to see if it fits. Right. What goes on in a village is the village's business. You tell your friends in Newton that. Uh, they that are good shall go into life ever after. Won't be a minute. They that are evil into everlasting fire. Where's Oh, he's in the gangsters. And on the third day. He rose again and ascended unto heaven, so he's not on earth. Jesus is everywhere. You say he looked down on us, so he must be up there, mustn't he? Stand to reason. He sitteth on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. If we say we have no sin, we Here deceive ourselves. If the wicked man turneth against his wickedness and doth that... wouldn't bother all that stuff, Mrs. Crow. Never helped no one, to my knowledge. That's all right. Give it when he gets back, eh? Tail's gone round, he's away till tomorrow. No, oh, tonight? He's only at Dorchester. That's what I thought. Right then. Won't be in tonight. Wife's a bit poorly. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I was over to Newton this afternoon, in the swan. I told him 
What goes on here ain't none of their business. You tell William that. You tell him I said that. Say what time you'll be back. Tonight? Don't know when. Why? Uh, no, it don't matter. There's, uh, there's no one in tonight. I said, what's this then? The Newton lot, William. Frank and your sister sent them. They came over an hour ago. We told them it weren't none of their business. Where's Tulip? Inside. Mind the boss. Now, so Luke can get some sleep. Is it further from the next village? The others, they're just coming to look, I think. Come on over here, make it trouble. Get back to Newton, where you belong. That's enough nonsense for one night. Charlie. Put the gun away, Tom. We'll have some of our good neighbors dying of fright. I'll have you transported for it. It's not loaded. As for the rest of you, you can pass a message back to my sister and her husband, which is, if ever my wife comes to any harm, I'll hold them responsible and take pleasure in seeing that they hang for it. Now go home, all of you. All right, all right. That's the best, I suppose. Come on, come on, let's go. Oh, it's been a long night. This is all a load of nonsense. Sometime. Billy! Oh, let him be. He's not bothering me. Can I help you with that? Sure. Can you leave me alone? Billy, go and play with your boat over there. <laughs> Don't go near the bar. I am not afraid of that lot. Didn't say you were. You might leave. Because of last night. William. You expect me to go inside and serve that trash? They didn't do anything. It was the other village. What's the difference? Tom can do the bar. Well, he can take over as landlord for me. Morning. 
Mr. Target? Yes. Uh, new bar games are right from Dorchester. Bring them round, shall I? Fine day. What do you mean to do? You not had trouble like this on a ship? Yeah. What did you do? Put them off at the first port of call. Damn it, Chilip. You can't run an inn nor a ship without respect. They respect you. Am I right? What do you mean to do? Go back to Dahomey? You won't stay. You get homesick. You had better send me back. Then they will respect you. That is what you want. You know I'll not do that. I don't know. Unless you tell me. I have brought you over to send you back. You may, child. Let me have a bit of pity for myself. It's better out than in. <laughs> Sign here. What do they call you then, Blackie? Good day to you. Rob a boy. Don't play on the bridge, Billy. What are you, Reverend? Mind the roses. William Target. We haven't yet had the pleasure of meeting each other for some reason. Uh, I haven't seen you in church, of course. No, no, I've been rather busy, what with making weathercocks and one thing and another. We old sailors like to know which way the wind's blowing, eh? Huh? Well, I, I'm glad you called, Mr. Target. I've had a rather disquieting report from one of my parishioners that you threatened her in some way. Is this true? Oh, I believe I threatened a lot of your parishioners last night. Which one did you have in mind? Your sister, Mrs. Sturmey, as a matter of fact. Uh, what I threatened Mrs. Sturmey with was the law of this country. It says those who cause other people's property to be burgled or burned, or the wives and children hurt, are liable to be transported or hanged. And since you see more of my sister, I dare say, than I do, I shall be pleased if you'd pass on to her that I repeat that threat and shall spare no expense to see that it's carried out as the occasion demands it. Which brings me to what I wanted to say. I've heard a, what was it? A disquieting rumour too. Oh? Yeah. That you threatened one of my family with burning. Oh, come now. It's not true. Ah. Come here, Juliet. Come along. The Reverend tells me you said nothing about young Billy being burnt if he wasn't baptised. <laughs> oh, you did? <laughs> well, I'm afraid your uh, uh, Mrs. Target rather misunderstood me. You were referring to hell? We were having a little chat about Christianity. I was trying to explain biblical teaching on baptism. Oh, no, that's different. <laughs> My wife told me that you believed it. Well, uh, of course I believe the word of God, Mr. Target. We all do, I hope. I'll tell you the truth, Reverend. I don't believe little boys are burnt in fires, and even little black ones. Do you? There is a metaphorical connotation, of course. Isn't there? Well, that's all right. The black doctor says there's a metaphorical connotation. That means that it won't happen after all. Well, I'm glad we've cleared up that little misunderstanding. Come along, Tulip. <laughs> Only you know what these bumpkins are. They don't very well understand your metaphorical connotations. So if you go about saying people are going to be burned in hell, they might decide to do it for themselves and save the Almighty the trouble. And meanwhile, I'll, I'll do my best to bring him up to be as good a Christian as my neighbor. Right? Good day to you. Come on, Billy! Come on! <laughs> Oh, right, tough. Now, don't go tulip. Stay and have a drink with these good people for once. Tom? Yeah? Those games have come. 
soon as he's ready, dinner, get him set up in the bar. Yep. I reckon they'll help keep these gentlemen's minds off the next world. <laughs> Right, who's next? Oh, down side. Just a nice fire. Don't you think it was a summer in straight from the South Pole? <laughs> the sails balloon and the ship turn around and the skipper shouted out orders. And we got yeah. out there and got all them sails out. Right. Then we got together. Hey, Martha! Go all along the deck. <laughs> there were only two men at the wheel because one couldn't handle it himself. And then... When the morning came, I with a weather handsman in soul charge. What the devil are you doing here? Can you hear me calling? I tell the parson, 11 o'clock. It's way past that time now. Don't put your coat on. You hear what I say? I cannot. Cannot? Cannot what? I cannot take him. Now, don't be stupid, Shirley. We're taking Billy to the parson. Are you disobeying me? Go to your bedroom and stay there. You know how to catch a whale? Huh? Well, you go out in a boat, and when the whale comes up, you throw your harpoon at it. Huh? But you've got to be very close up. When the whale it lands right at the bottom of the ocean, it's got the harpoon in it, and at the end of the harpoon is a big, strong rope. Eh? There you are. Why does it rain? Mama, Mama, how do we catch whales? will be done.
tough work if you do that. <laughs> You'd make a good slave, I reckon. Know where they've been? Mm -hmm. Africa. <laughs> you smell African, you know that. You smell too. <laughs> Harry? Hello, Billy. Hello, boy. How are you? I'm fine. How's everybody at the farm? Well, they're busy, of course, but they send their regards, and they're sorry they haven't been able to come and see you yet. Come and see the baby now. Oh, is this it? Mm-hmm. Well, well, well. Not very black, is it? You've been leaving them out in the rain? It's a girl, Harry. A girl? Mm -hmm. Is it? Sheba. Sheba? Mm -hmm. Well, well. You don't like the colour? No, I just, uh... My word, it's a real baby, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, well. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot. Christening presents. Oh, that's nice. This one's from all the family. Except Lucy, of course. Now, you'll have to get it, Christen, or they'll think you don't like it. And, uh, it's from me. Oh. It's a rattle. Ooh. Once that horse, that colour. You know Lucy can't have any, don't you? What? Children. They've been trying these last five years. She had her heart sat in it. And you didn't bother to tell us about this one, of course. I had that from her. You may be interested to know that black woman has bred again. Anyway, I'm off. Oh, where? America. Are you? I finally took the plunge and booked a passage. Are you going? Well, not for a while. That for you, Mr. William. Here, do you want any more ale? No, thanks, Tom. <laughs> Rot the man's insolence. Blast the rotten, stinking black heart. Oh, no, no, I'm damned if I will. Read it, eh? Read it and tell me you can smell that cow in it. Now, go on, read it out. Let her hear. Oh, no, no, let her know. Let her know the country she's living in. It has been brought to my knowledge that you're living with a woman to whom you are not married. A coloured woman. Very strong representations have been made to me by respectable residents in New Barrow and District against my continuing to let premises to a man of blue sky. What does that mean? <laughs> I cannot allow my tenants to set a bad example in Christian morality. At the same time, I do not wish to lose such a good tenant as you have otherwise shown yourself. You can see if you may... He's given Billy notice, Tulip. He's saying... That... Yeah. And unless you terminate your unfortunate association with this female, he's saying I'm to get rid of you, Tulip. Oh. That bro her down here, and she's making him a bitch. Your sister? Harry, I'm going to... That's so. Oh, no, Billy. Uh, you would hang for oh. it. And where would Tula be then? Sit down, come on. We'll talk uh, about it. Uh, I work for respect, Harry. I work for it. I know it. I know you have. Come on, give it in. All right. Right. And you won't send her away. Oh, for stinking pothouse. And it was her pearls that bought the place and all that's in it. A woman who's bought me two children. And who's left the palace to wash dirty beer pots for love of me. My God, Harry, have you never loved a woman? And you're not married? In Africa. My tulip was a princess. We were married in Dahomey. I had to send for tulip three times. And then at midnight, after the feast, Three women brought her to me, put her hand in mine, told me to treat her well, to feed her, give her clothes, and to beat her when she was bad. Now, that may not be a proper wedding here, but it took from sunrise and until after midnight. And it was on a Sunday, too. And would you object to marrying her again? Would that do it? Is that? He's a businessman. 
course, it'll take a little longer than murder. Oh, oh I want to see that cow's face, eh? I'll get that proxy boss on it right away. <laughs> Nate, it's only a wedding. No, now behave yourself, Julie. Well, uh, it's all right. It's all right. She thinks, what is it? She thinks there's a spell in the letter. She's taking it to herself. It's all right. She was sick later. Well, uh, We're gathered together here in the sight of God and in the face of this congregation to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony. Those whom God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. Shiva, I baptize thee in the uh, name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. One, two, three, 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 Sheba, she will not take my milk. It's the excitement. What's wrong? Can you bleed her? Bleed her? Of course not. I'll go for the doctor in the morning. Why not? I don't want anybody else to touch her. All right. What's that? It's only the fog. Thank you. 
you help me with the digging? Don't look like that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Sally Brown is a bright mulatta. Hey. Well, stop. Hey, 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 roll and go. <laughs> we drink strong and choose the bagger. Spend my money on Sally Brown. Stop it, Billy, Brown. will you? You will anger her. Seven long years I've caught his Sally. Hey, 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 roll and go. in America. What? Girls. <laughs> Every color under the sun. Are they? Black, white, brown, yellow. Pick your fancy, Harry. Red. Red? <laughs> I'll come and see you off tomorrow, Harry. Well, you don't have to do that. I'd like to. It'll be good to get aboard a ship again. You make sure he gets off again. If he stays on board, I'll come back myself. <laughs> oh, but Billy, can I can I tell you something? You won't take it amiss. Because I love Tulip. You know that. So you ought to. Yeah, no, that's not what I want to say. What I want to say is this. I love Tulip, but you shouldn't have done it. Done what? You sh you shouldn't have brought her over. Anyway, what I want to say is... I hope you'll both be very, very happy. That's all I want to say.
to be sick. Go on. You are William's sister? Yes. Your papa said you'd not be long, so I waited for you. Come to me, Olu. Here. How old is the little boy? Four. Does he keep well in this country? They often don't, I believe. I was sorry to hear you lost your second. Go and play in the games room. Go on. Would you like to come into the parlor? Sit down, please. Please don't bother, dear. Have you hurt your head? I believe it's bleeding. It is all right. Well, I heard William was away, so I thought it would be a good opportunity for a chat. A chat? A talk. He's done the place out very nice. He works hard. Oh, yes. William is a worker. He could have done very well with this place. I think he does all right. Only you're not getting many customers, are you? They are busy with the harvest. He must be losing money on it. He has got plenty of money. All right, listen. I have nothing against you, dear. I don't know you. But I'm not going to sit by and watch my brother make a fool of himself and make a fool of me in the bargain. He should never have brought you here. You must know that. You will have to talk to him about that. It was his idea. Oh, yes, I've spoken to William, but he's decided to be stubborn, and he'll ruin himself. That is, if he comes back. Why wouldn't he come back? Oh, my dear child, why should he? He's taking all his money with him, I suppose. He will come back. And what if he doesn't? And if he does, it'll only be a matter of time before the money runs out. The villagers won't come while you're here. They have nothing against you. They just don't want you here. If you leave and take the little boy with you, I'm willing to help. It'll be much easier while he's away. Otherwise, you know what you've got coming to you. And him. And of course, he'll lay the blame at my door. We are not frightened of them. William can lick all that trash and they know it. Only he's not here. Why have you come here? I've told you. Wait here a minute. I get you something. For me. I do, my dear, believe me. So does the parson. Good prayers. Different prayers for me and Olu. What's this? Is this your money? William left it. You have it. My dear child. Well, she said you're You've done it now. Do what? Don't you know what will happen when you let them in? What have you got here? You have been using these. That filthy. What kind of pot boy are you? you. Tell the boy I want service. What do you want? Another pint? If you mind what I want, just get the boy. Small beer, I suppose. I want the boy. 
We want some more rum, Tom. Go down and get some. You have your keys, have you? Go on, then. Dirty nigger. It will be tuppence. You can take that back. I'm not drinking that. And you can get the boiler rinse the pot. This is your beer. Take it or leave it. Ah! You black cow. You dirty black cow. Shit! You bastard bitch! This fellow owes us for his beer, Tom. Do not serve him until you get it. You see me again, you all. Don't you worry about that. You shouldn't serve them, Mrs. Tulip. You'll have it in for you now. Him and his friends and know that lot. You heard what he called me. What do you want me to do? Act like a slave. Hey, you. I want you. We'll be back. I didn't know it was you. Who should be? You've been a long time. Three weeks. I didn't know you'd be away that long. It was in the dreams, Tom. You all right? How's Billy been? He's all right. Went to Goodwood. <laughs> What's that? The races, horses. I gave Harry a hundred pounds to start him off. They robbed me of the rest. So that's why you've come back. Trade's been bad. Ah, it's better than the old. Oh, I'll come back now. You already did last time. You won't notice anything was wrong. Oh, uh, Mrs. Cloud's gone. Why? So she's ill. Oh, sorry. Hey, mind. Loading. to breach your black bastard, dear.
exactly forgotten something, Tom. Then you got a nose back. Looks like they actually might be here for a while. Where's that going, Tom? Fred Lee. This is usual. His wife's been poorly. Mm. Lots of sickness about lately. <laughs> what, do you want me to go and get him another one? the bar. You never know. I might get a customer. <laughs> is your hair short enough? It'll do. Hmm. You want to eat now? I'm not hungry. Give me a shave. Out here? Why not? Then we'll go upstairs. Not much casual work about. Be around again, will you? I might. Look around for you. Prize fighter, will you? By rights. Past it? Put up the money and I'll show you if I'm past it. Nice to see you back, William. Why, Patricia? Wife better, is she? Oh, yes, yes, much better times. I've been keeping an eye on the place, in case that Newton crowd came back again. Oh, yeah. What happened to your face? Got jumped at the races, didn't even see the bastards. Tell you what, I'll challenge you to a friendly bout, if you like. What's the prize? I don't fight for money. What do you think, Fred? Huh? Should I arrange a few bouts for the champion here? <laughs> what about you? It's not my game, William. Ah. You see, mister, there's no stomach for it in this village. They prefer to watch. I'd go back to the town if I were you. I've made good money in my time, and I could still. Ah, what's stopping you? The game's gone rotten, that's why. Bloody Harry Broom. Flashy bloody brump. Did well out of me one time. Wouldn't put up ten quid for me now. See, sorry, Jack. I've got this young nigger. Nigger boy. Well, that's it. It's all sheenies and niggers now. No time for an Englishman anymore. What about two rounds for another quart? Put up a fiver. Have one on me. the horses. <laughs> Don't mind them, Tulip. I'm just saying there ought to be a pound in the village for neglected horses. Your man went off so fast, I thought maybe he'd gone off to enlist. He's obviously a fighting man. The whip's mine too, I believe. That's right. Give it plenty of lava, Tulip. If you like me smooth, don't you love? Tell your man there to come and claim it. Get the whip. I'll tell you what. There's a broken down prize fighter here needs a job. You might take him on in place of that one, not lose so much property. You're not wanted in this district, Target. You are your breed. I've handled sailors who've felt the same way, mister. I think I'll manage a few dung yard pumpkins. Come and pick it up. Get that team moving. Yeah. Go on, go on. Tell your champion runner he can come and fight me for the whip any time. Get on. Get on. Be in too if you like. that trash mad. Mm. Those things I gave you? Mm-hmm. The necklace and that. You should have to have them back. You lost all the money? 
I will get you those things. Ready? So you sent that Carter off with his tail between his legs. Mm. Reckon he'll be coming to claim it, then? Oh. Sure you can manage that, Mr. William? That is what? Billy? Yes. Take some mushroom. What's mushroom? Let's see. Oh. oh, I forgot to give you these things. That's a good haircut. Try the pastures up where the stream bends. How many rounds shall I give him, Governor? That's your business, isn't it? As many as you like. The more, the better for me. Watch him, because he's very nippy. Got an advantage there, see? The first king we know about was called Agatha the Great. He made the home into a great country. Then come Boss Hadi. He was bad. He drowned his brother into the sea. Hey, what did he do that for? I told you. He was bad. He knew it was a terrible thing to shed royal blood. And so he drowned him. All right, Sage. Now watch him. Fair play. Aye. You see this fair play, Fred. Come on, say, get up! I'll get back here, Governor. I'll get the bastard the next round. Damn fraud. Don't let me catch you around my farm. I'll let the daylight in you. Are you lot, you get back to work. Don't pay for loafing. You heard enough then? I got to finish like always. You were finished years ago. We'll see about that. Get him a bucket of water, Fred. Come on, man. Come on, 
and if you've got to. Nothing. Oh, well, you may have lived when I left them. We found play from someone, but they won't say nothing. We'll have to take him into Dorchester. Hardly a mark on William, huh? Only on his eye. I just stayed, but they were breaking windows. I just seen fair play. What are you doing here, eh? Oh, get out! Bugger off, you bloody cowards! We didn't see nothing. You bloody cowards! Has anybody sent for the doctor? Is he? Tell him his skull is broken. I do not think he'll last, Tom. I think they killed him. You do not have to worry, William. I have it all planned. I will be all right. I will not stay with white people. Olu and me will take a ship back to my people. So you do not have to worry. You understand, William. And the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen. Mrs. Target, you mustn't worry about your boy. Mrs. Sturmey and the church will be glad to take care of his future. Tom the concertina. Thank you very much, Billy. Bye bye. Bye bye. You, you sure you won't let me come with you? It's, it's, it's not right. It's not right. Treat him like a dirty nigger. My father was king of Dahomey. That's as maybe, but I tell you, I don't take passengers. Least of all women. Mm. Well, I'll take the boy for the sake of Captain Target. Just the boy, I understand. He'll be safe with me. My steward can look after him, and I'll get him sent on to Dahomey. I wouldn't be any trouble. I wouldn't. Look, I haven't got all day. I've said my last word. Shall I take the boy or not? This is all the money I have. It is to pay to take him back to my cousin, Prince Chutatun of Dahomey. Back to his people. You'll be good now. Yes. And the captain will show you all the sailors dancing on the deck. 
Oluwa Yoshoe. You take him now. Do it. Farewell, Anna. Until we meet again. Until we meet again in dreams. George. Oh, Tom. We're on its way, then? Aye, <laughs> certainly. <laughs> 